Sponsored by True Tech Tools. Quality tools, essential support. TrueTechTools.com. In this video, I'm going to compare the Testo 510i to the SPM100 by AAB. We'll get the AAB app fired up and we'll go through that. So the first thing that you need to do when you're dealing with the SPM100 and every time you use it you have to go through the calibrate meter function. So you take both of the probe caps off, the blue and red caps, and you tap calibrate meter. It tells you that you need to remove those caps and press OK to calibrate. Recommended for each use. It goes through the calibration process and tells you when it's complete and then you can take a reading. The app does only the SPM 100 but you can do a static pressure test, a pressure differential, total external static, indoor versus outdoor, and gas pressure test. It'll tell you how to connect it, give you instructions on that, and when you're ready you hit start and it gives you a reading there. Now we did just calibrate it but it's showing a three one hundredths of an inch of water. If we tie a hose to it and we give it a negative pressure it goes into a negative and then if we give it positive pressure it shows positive pressure. When you hit stop you can save that reading and go back to that main screen and do another reading or whatever. We're going to go back to take a reading just to see where it's sitting right now. And it is showing a one one hundredths of an inch, two one hundredths of an inch of water. Once you've taken that reading and saved it, you can hit the menu button on the upper left and look at your history and it will show you the gas pressure that you took, outdoor temperature, relative humidity, barometric pressure, and dew point. And then you can export it via email if you'd like, and it will attach a PDF of that information, and you can send that off to your customer or copy it to yourself. With the Testo 510i, when you connect the device, you can hit the gear on the bottom left, and zero the pressure sensor and that's all the calibration that you would have to do and then if you were going to take a gas pressure reading you may actually want to do it in trending rather than just in the list and it will show your track as you're going and if you were going to take a gas pressure reading you would want to do it on the positive pressure side if you show it as a trend you could see fluctuations over time of that reading. A pretty nice feature. You can also go ahead and export. One nice thing about the export feature for the Testo app is that you can do it as an Excel export, PDF export, or a JPEG export. And we're going to pick JPEG. It'll actually show you the whole graph of that trending. And you could send it off via email, messages, whatever, copy it to Dropbox. You could do a whole lot of stuff there. If you wanted to look at it as a list, there you go for that. Or you could look at it as a table and actually scroll back through the table there and see the measurement changes over time. And you could export that as well. Looks like you have to export the table as a Excel spreadsheet or a CSV. So it looks like you have to export it during that time frame. You couldn't allow the system to continue reading or whatever. But either way, it's kind of nice to be able to watch the trending and see your pressure changes. So that is your basic comparison between the 510i and the AAB SPM 100. So there you have it, the basic comparison between the SPM100 by AAB and the Testo 510i. 
Don't forget that you can use coupon code RARVID to get $10 off your purchase of $10 or more at TrueTechTools.com. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. We'll see you on the next video. Oh,